Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel, The Ninth Cup, where all of my readings focus on your soul's destiny and everything you can do to embody your soul's purpose. This is going to be a general reading for the Chiron placement in the sign of Leo. If your Chiron is in Leo or in the fifth house, the house of Leo, this reading is for you. Um, for those of you who are current subscribers, welcome back. Uh, thank you for sharing your energy with me and helping me grow the channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. My name is Karen Michelle Yearwood. I'm an intuitive guidance counselor and I help people like yourself along the ascension journey. So the Chiron, Leo, I'm going to get a few oracles from the astrology deck and then I'm going to do a three card spread on material, emotional and spiritual state just to see what source has to share with you at this time whenever you're seeing this about your Chiron. And for those of you who are like new to astrology or going deeper into aspects in your own natal chart, the Chiron is known as the wounded healer. It's an asteroid that orbits between the planets Saturn and Uranus. And it's about where we're wounded from past lives, um, where we um, may even be wounded from early on in this human experience, ages zero to seven. And it's also um, where we help others heal, where we have the potential to help others heal. So it's twofold, okay? So let's see what we have for you, Leo. We have Saturn, Chiron, this came out for Cancer, and uh, the fifth house, the house of Leo. There's your house, okay? So Saturn, Chiron, and the fifth house. I think many of you are um, growing up. I think many of you are taking things to the next level, um, whether that is your creativity or your romance, like maybe you've been dating, you want to take it to a more official and committed relationship. Maybe some of you are committed relationships, but you want to um, have children or you've been doing creative projects, but maybe haven't been getting paid for it. You haven't been, you know, charging. And now this is about you really putting your work out there for um, for purchase or for publishing or just kind of making it more official. That's the turning in energy because it is about authority and it's about um, public persona too. So there's something about coming of age, right? Not saying that you're not an adult, but it's like, whatever you're doing, whatever you're engaging in is, is growing up, right? So the product itself or the um, relationship in and of itself is growing up and becoming more mature in nature. Um, obviously Chiron reading, this is the, um, the Chiron is the reading we're doing, excuse me. So yeah, what's being healed here is that Chiron, you know, being seen, being visible. I think Leo light side of it is very magnetic. It doesn't mind to be in the spotlight, but this is a Chiron. So the wound could be, you know, fear of, being in the spotlight, fear of being patronized, you know, and with Saturnian energy, uh, Saturn is known as the, you know, the father of the Zodiac. So maybe there could be wounding around a father figure. Maybe um, a father figure has never supported you or was absent in some way. Um, so you never really believed in your creative endeavors, your creative prowess, fifth house. So again, getting back to it, um, getting more involved in creative endeavors. And this could be, you know, it is a general reading. So this could, um, you know, mean many different things, but it could even mean that you are um, collaborating across disciplines or in different areas. Like it could be you're doing things with children, teaching children, you know, learning with children, learning with young people or, um, you know, like traveling even, you know, it could be, I'm just getting an energy of like, it could be you doing different things, like you're dabbling in different things. All right, so let's go ahead and jump to the tarot. I'm getting three cards again for emotional. Well, I'm starting with material, emotional, and then spiritual state. So Leo, let's see, for your material state, the moon, raising consciousness, Cancer got that, and the page of pentacles. So in your material state, there's um, a little bit of confusion as to, yeah, where to um, invest. Because with this page of pentacles, you know, it's a young energy. So going back to that childlike energy I was channeling, it's also something that's underdeveloped, right? So even though you might have been working on something for quite some time, some type of creative pursuit, whether it's music or writing, um, creating art, whatever it is, this moon energy kind of creates a lack of clarity as like for the next steps for it to be abundant, for it to become like fruitful in the material way. Pentacles are like money, but it's also self-worth. Um, so again, it could be that some Chiron energies are bubbling up to the surface as you heal, as you raise your consciousness, that's when a lot of, when we get triggered, right? That's when all of the, the lessons start to come up and you know, it's really meant to be released. Um, and it's interesting that Saturn is here, right here in this, um, where these cards are coming out because Saturn brings us lessons, you know, he's the God of karma. So many of you could be in this energy right now where, you know, you're, you're just being challenged. You're struggling a little bit with moving forward, either from a lack of belief, um, in yourself or, yeah, like the wounds from just not being supported early on in your life. 
that page of pentacles could be symbolic of you as well like you know you kind of because even look at this illustration look he's kind of holding a pentacle kind of like look at what i made look at what i have and maybe that was not received very well or maybe you just never felt you know moon energy it's kind of just flowy it's not necessarily direct so you never felt like um you know what you have to offer is worth people's attention you know again take it how it resonates what's going on in the emotional state nine of pentacles king of wands and the sun leo energy with the king of wands and the sun so you're right here in your emotional state leo in the nine of pentacles that is the energy of being very independent being resourceful being okay on your own so i think many of you are getting to this place where it's like you know you don't need the accolades you don't need to be affirmed by um, a father figure or a mentor or whatever you can kind of just do your thing and whoever is meant to experience your work and whoever is meant to appreciate your work and be inspired by it will sun card um illumination sun card also is um an energy that it can overshadow as well so i know like we have sun and moon here so we have two like opposing energies here feminine masculine but what i mean to say here is that the sun can be so powerful that it can kind of just cancel everything around it and i'm getting that in a good way though like it's almost like you're canceling out all the naysayers canceling out all of the you know maybe things that were said to you that were um demoralizing you know or not supportive and you're getting into this king energy you know i know who i am i know what i have to offer canceling everything around me that's of low vibration i'm only going in a high vibration here so that's your emotional state you're becoming emotionally sound beautiful spiritual state the hierophant the fool and two of wands wow so two major arcanas here with the hierophant with what I said in the beginning about taking your relationship to the next level, um, this could be that. The Hierophant sometimes represents a marriage or a commitment, something being official. Or if not, again, it's just the contract or the work you're doing. Um, could be getting um, agreements signed for that or looking into that um, for doing work for a company. Hierophant energy can be institutions. So maybe some of you are teaching. Maybe it could be art teachers or you know, doing programs for a company that... Um, you know, provides lessons or whatever in, it, in whatever it is you do, full energy, right? So that's the unshakable faith. Even though things may not be clear, full is moving right ahead. Um, it's Uranus and Aries energy. Um, it's on taking one step, not knowing necessarily where every foot's going to land, but choosing, um, choosing a, a, an avenue, choosing a path, two of wands, kind of being at a crossroads, but I think you're going to pick whichever way. I mean, I don't see either choice being wrong or right i think it's just a choice that you have now um maybe in doing something that's going to bring in the abundance you know maybe you have a choice to maybe keep creating but there's not a lot of um rewards monetary rewards attached to it and then there's another choice where there are maybe you, you won't be so creative maybe you'll have to kind of be under the guidelines of the institution hierophant but it'll bring in abundance so again there's this choice here and you're kind of stepping out on unshakable faith you know and keeping that childlike energy you know when children um when we have options as children right we really didn't think so much about it or we didn't think about being wrong we kind of just went with whatever felt good so this is tapping back into that heart chakra knight of wands and going right after it okay movement this is beautiful energy, Leo. Let's get some Moonology cards. What do we have for the Moonology cards? Show the world the real you, full moon in Aquarius. Aquarius is your opposing energy. So wherever you have your Chiron and Leo, across the way is Aquarius. Some of you could have strong Aquarius placements or strong 11th house placements. But, you know, when I was saying in the beginning about having a fear of being seen or, you know, revealing your work, Source is saying, show the world the real you, present what you have. Sun card, you know, come out um, or come out further or, you know, go harder. You know, maybe you have a lot of things, but um, you haven't, again, made it public or you, many people may not know what you're working on. You and your loved ones are safe. That's interesting. New moon and cancer. So um, if this is, I think in the, earlier in the reading, I channeled father energy. Could be mother energy too, since we have sun and moon mother father so you could be thinking um you know you and your loved ones are safe this could be about you know the relationship maybe being a little bit um fraught 
but source is saying it's okay. You know, you can move on and heal. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Absolutely. So whatever has been kind of tough for you in terms of believing in yourself and getting ahead, that's really closing out now. And the opportunities are abound. So what's in the change of life oracles? We have retirement. This could be maybe you doing things that's going to set you up for a nice retirement. Sentimental feelings. Absolutely. So your work could be sentimental. Your work could be really near and dear to your heart. And relationship dynamics. This came out for cancer. So this could also be tying back into, again, the sun, moon energy, even the two of wands, because it's two, right? You know, it could be two people to work with, two groups, two companies, which is a relationship, a form of a relationship, okay? So Leo, I'm going to leave it here. I hope something here resonates. If so, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm not doing extended readings for these Chirons. I just don't have the time, but I will jump back in in the near future. Um, websites linked below. My personal readings do include a tarot spread as long as well as your um, your chart reading, whether it's natal, progressed, or solar return, and also an aura scan. So look at your chakras. So that is available as well as my ribbon account if you want to check out any extendeds there. Um, but yeah, I hope to see you guys in the next reading and be sure to thrive. Bye.